So we've got a full day of eating coming up with Dr. Amelia Thompson. Doctor? They just hand them out in cereal packets nowadays, I think. Actual doctor? Uh, yeah, literally. Doctor. Actually, I've got a rash that you could take a look at. <laughs> no, Not that sort of doctor, though. Not like the one that requires loads of training, just like a... Couldn't be doctor. bothered to get a job for six or seven years or whatever it is. Wanted to be a student for longer. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, they don't like it. People really come in, the bright lights, the camera lens, they kind of go, oh. Buckled. She has folded say. like a fucking deck chair. Yeah. She was giving it up. <laughs> Amelia is a specialist in intuitive eating. What's, What's that? Because yeah. it's kind of like I didn't. That wasn't for the specialist. That was for the intuitive eating. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Specialist. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna go for a day of eating, but Amelia's gonna choose what we eat based uh, on how we feel. Amelia style, yeah. Yeah. How we feel, what emotions we're going through. Yeah. What time of day it is when we're training? Does that come into it? Yeah, all of it. All Does of it. it. If you're hungry, just if you're hungry. I'm always you hungry. Oh, yeah, you're screwed. What's gonna happen with that then? You just you're eat. You're always gonna eat. Brilliant. That's great for my diet. So. Anti-diet, Mike is. He's on an anti-diet day. Yeah, brilliant. Welcome. Anyway, it's about 10 o'clock. We've not had breakfast yet. I'm really, really hungry now, so this could be interesting. Yeah. We'll have to go and see what's in the fridge. Yeah. So we've got to go and buy breakfast, because apparently Mike doesn't buy any food. So we're just on our way to get breakfast now, so that's delayed, isn't it? What are you talking about? Off to get breakfast. Got to, got to go and buy it. How would I know what she's going to pick? Well, you could have stuff in. in the house. You would have picked something from the well, house, mate. What do you want me to do? Buy the entire contents of a supermarket? Yes. Yes, I do. You should always have a stocked fridge no. and cupboard. No, because you need to set up your environment, food environment. Mm. If it's not there, you can't eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Stop being difficult. Like, get some vegetables. Oh, right. Warm, yeah. Amelia just asked us on a scale of 1 to 10 how hungry we are. <laughs> so I said I'm about six five six mike said eight and yeah, he really wants want vegetables i do want them you want vegetables yeah yeah for breakfast yeah everybody wants breakfast mm. with vegetables inclusive of it okay. i definitely don't want a full english fry up or pancakes or anything like that you're allowed to do what you want if you really want that if you're hungry for it do you want why it? are you making this difficult you? <laughs> you're making this difficult aren't you you have to choose that's the whole point no you have to choose that's the whole point of the video i want some yogurt so you can okay. see how this is like, you know, in your head, you probably have these arguments in your head. Like in your head, you have You're these arguments. Let's go back from the yeah. breakfast. So, when we were there, what did you ask us when we were there? How hungry are you? Yep. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. Uh, what, you fancy sweet or savoury? Yeah. How big is your penis? On a scale of... I don't need to know. Yeah. Mm. Scale of zero to. I thought one. that was a bit weird asking that to be honest. Yeah, that was a bit odd. It's got nothing to do with hunger. Um. <laughs> what are you hungry for? Sausage. To his breakfast. Ask yourself those <laughs> questions before you eat, because interestingly, Mike was loitering around the areas that you wanted to get. What the do food. you mean loitering? Why does it sound like, like I'm a criminal? Out. Yeah, you were looking at. You were just looking at the salad again. Oh God, I just want that. Oh salad. yes, because that's how people react around salad. It is you. It is you. No, it's not. You though. love. Mate, you're always putting your white stuff all over salad. It's usually Unless mayonnaise. About that, the best. So what did we get? What did we get? Eggs. Egg white. Egg white. Egg Eggs. Oh, one's cracked. Did Is it? Look. Oh, for fuck's sake. You didn't check, did you? It wasn't me, it was him. Rubbish. That's intuitive. Didn't Bagel. Check. Sweetener. Bread. Raspberries. Frozen berries. Gone. Yorkshire tea. There you go. Mushrooms. There's not mushroom on there. Yeah. Bacon. Almond milk. I mean, that's going to be heavy. Greek yogurt on the edge. It's not going to go well. I've been holding eggs as well, but whatever. Alpro. Alpro. Salad. Yeah, I am. Have your phone on the table at all? No, mindful. Oh, mindful. No distractions right. once you've taken Do we really need the cheesecake right there? Is yeah. That, is that yeah. a bit distracting? <laughs> yeah, it's like. Good luck with that. No, that's what I'm having for afters. So it's going to. If you're still hungry you. after. Okay. Yeah, well, I will be. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Well, I've already had some of the cheesecake. Right, job. anyway, so what have you got? Egg white. It's egg white, right? Egg white omelette. Egg white omelette. Mike made it with salad. Salad, bit of mushroom in there. There's a bit of mushroom in there, and there's a little bit of that smoked cheese, eating cheese. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. And you've got exactly the same, but mine's got bacon in it because I need more meat. Yeah. And oh, what's that meat. over there? Bagel. Uh, ah, got a bagel. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got some bread rolls. Our bread roll. The bread roll. Yeah. So a bit of carbs. And you've got. I've got a uh, yogurt and berries. Um, because I've already had some of this. 
and these guys are probably going to have theirs afterwards. I am, yeah. If they have it. 100%. Um, so yeah, nice seat there. Nice seat there. I've got nothing on. Just <laughs> Don't get the carpet, it may need a hoover. Yeah, it does need a hoover, you're right. Sweet. Are we allowed to, hang on, whoa, 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 are we allowed to eat? So, yeah, but you have yeah. to take 10 minutes to eat it. Fuck off. Yeah, you do. Right. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Wow! No. I said this to you the other day, I yeah, said if you, you ate slower, you'd find yourself getting fuller. Yeah, you do. Right, so no, you eat that? No, we've got to time it. Right, yeah, Mike's got to eat this in 10 minutes. What, we'll and that? A bit, of, no. So, 10 minutes to eat your actual meal. So what, that? that? And that. Right, I need a fucking chair then. Right, timer on then. Maybe. We can't have my phone on no, the table. I'll, t- I'll get the cat. I'll use mine to check. Put the time on. Why are you making up rules as we go oh, along? That's, that's a genuine... Sprung on your last minute there. You were not happy about Ten that. minutes? Yeah. Not to eat everything. What about a protein bar? What if, what if I was having a protein bar? You're not You've got to eat... Bar. So he's got to eat the last I'll do that. Oh, mate, I'll yeah. do that. Don't you worry. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I have no doubt, mate. I eat slow. You've got a job on finishing it, mate. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Throwing a curveball in there, look. Ten minutes? Throwing a curveball. What the fuck is this? Look how annoyed he is. <laughs> I've never seen him so annoyed. Yeah, but ten minutes, like it's like it's right in front of me, and I can't eat it. Yeah, put your knife and fork down in between your mouthful. Why? 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 Why do that? Because it's mindful. It's you have not to think mindful. about the tastes and the flavors and the textures. Yeah, it it's tastes like, like when shit. When you eat your food challenge and you inhale it like a pig, it's like the opposite of that. I can't eat. <laughs> I honestly have never seen you so annoyed at something. Yeah. This is like the time when I I put um, a drink down without a coaster down on your table. <laughs> that was a dark day. <laughs> right. Right, let's go. Ten minutes then. Ten minutes on the timer. I love how annoyed you are. I don't see the point in it. I love how annoyed I do, you are. I don't see the point in this. I see the point in it. You should do it with at least one meal a day. But to I wind me up. To wind you up now. One you're meal a day. Could you not pick yeah. a bigger meal? It's an egg white omelette. Because... I resort to using my fingers to slow me down. <laughs> not for the first time. I feel like a fucking tortoise. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Were you eating your salad first? That was stupid. I genuinely have never seen him this irate. That was cold as well. <laughs> That's 10 minutes. Good luck. Oh, I nailed it. I've done it. Worst time in my life. Do you feel full? No. Well, now you can have some more. Sweet. How big is an acceptable portion to have? How hungry you're, are you? You're looking at the whole half, aren't you, going? How hungry are you on a scale of zero to ten? Genuinely, how hungry are you now? On a scale of one to ten? Seven. Still? Yeah. It's tiny. See, I've, I've got that left and I could probably stop. I have genuinely in life. If hungry. you want to stop, you can stop. But I feel like I need to get my protein intake. I know. So, uh, that was... So that, like, yeah, that's one thing, like, intuitive, like, real intuitive dieters don't do. Like, they have no food jobs. So, like, mm. if I was doing intuitive eating, I'd still be, like, three to four meals of... Mm. 25 grams of protein. You've got to have some element of like your gold in there. Yeah, but in, like the real intuitive dieters are like, or intuitive eaters rather, are like no food oils at all. So you could just have cheesecakes with breakfast if you want. It's, it's stupid, isn't it? That? Like that to that degree, it's like, yeah. well, I get that's it. what everyone's doing. Mm-hmm. That's what everyone is doing. They're going, I want that, I'll have it. Cheesecakes is my favourite dessert. You know, that you have brownies and all that sort of thing. Not, not bothered about chocolate. So I country mile. I'm not bothered about chocolate so much as a dessert, but I like chocolate. In itself is a nice thing to have, but desserts. I always go like sticky something put in cheesecake over like just... brownies and stuff. Now you should be in that store so you can actually taste all the layers. You should be able to identify the white chocolate in the store. I can. Don't worry, I can. Why are you lying? Oh, I can. Oh, I can. Oh, I can. <laughs> you should be eating. It's good, right? Yeah, I'm bored with this. <laughs> Big time. Does it even feel like you're dieting? Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> There's a reason for that. It doesn't, does it? Well, I've gone intuitive just on a, a plate of leaves. <laughs> that is just green. But I have got salt on it. Yeah, but realistically, I am going to put some Mexican style chicken with it. It's British chicken though, so Mexican, bit mixed race. And honey roast ham. So I like these. A bit expensive though. Three of these packs are seven quid, isn't it? That is quite expensive, isn't it? What's that? Chicken. You're eating chicken? Amelia is. Real chicken. Mm-hmm. You're plant based. What have you got? Plant based. What's that in your coffee? Meat. What? what strong. Got, why? Because I've got white teeth. Wow. Because you've got <laughs> white teeth, or you've got white teeth because you use a straw. Is that is some that sort of like thing? mindful thing no. that you enjoy the coffee more? Is it literally just to save your teeth? It's literally to save my teeth. Okay. It's not because it takes you longer to drink it or anything like that. Mm, Be mindful of it. Do it. I don't have to take 10 minutes over this one, do yeah. I? Yeah, you do. I'm even lazier, and I've got pork crackling crisps and a pretty bar. Because I literally don't need any food. And what? I'm not know. Oh yeah, and my, and my iced tea. So I got these. 
40 grams of protein post workout, so we need to worry about. Hunger scales though. What were you? Six. I'm a six. A five. I feel a bit sick. I'm about the same. Five, six. Don't need a lot of food right now. Yeah. And twice not a very big meal. Yeah. He says that. But it, that is like for you so that's far, not a big meal to be fair. You are so far. That's not a big meal for you. No, I know. But like to be fair, like it does. Like it has made me less hungry. So rather than being gluttonous and having another big meal, I don't even feel like I need all of this. I mean, I'm going to eat it all. Because <laughs> it's on your plate. You don't waste food. Yeah. You've eaten a lot of cheesecake, haven't you? So. Yeah. There's more left in there as well. Is there? Yeah. Is it just there? Yeah. There's a quarter left. Oh yeah, there's still some left. This is an intuitive game we're playing. Amelia's got to intuitively pick a jelly bean. Dr. Amelia, by the way. Dr. Amelia. So, Dr. Doctor. Amelia Thompson is going to do a general ooh, general knowledge quiz. Um, so, there's eight questions. Just general knowledge. So, for those of you who have Average. seen our previous videos, we did the Bean Boozle Challenge. There's a card up there. I'll do a link with that. Code below. 10% um, off. <laughs> so, the Bean Boozle Challenge, basically what happens is you've got jelly beans here, and they're the same colour, two different flavours. One of them is nice, one of them is not. I'll reveal the flavours as we go. Them. So, there's eight questions. If Amelia gets the question wrong, she has to choose the jelly bean and eat it. If she gets it right, she gets to pick one of us to have to have the jelly bean instead. I just want to point out here, yeah, Amelia, just how much of a kick that Dan seems to be getting out of this game. I'm not getting any kick out of it. Just saying, I'm, it I, seems quite well, enthusiastic I th to, me to, to make you suffer. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, it's pretty obvious, if you get one right, you probably didn't even to me. So. I'm prepared for that. I've got my drink ready. I'm prepared for it. I know what they all taste Don't like. Don't give her the reverse psychology. Oh, you're probably going to give it to me. Rubbish. I've, I'm just, I've just been horrible to her. Uh, all, all, ever since we've known each other, I've just been horrible to her the whole time. So I'm just waiting for it. It's going to come back and bite me in the ass, isn't it? So <laughs> anyway, question one. Okay, so question one. Question one, by the way, is for lawn clippings or lime? What is the name of the fourth book in the Harry Potter series? I have no idea. Deathly Hallows? Don't be too quick with the answer. Do you want to think about it first? No, I don't know. Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. That Goblet was an easy one. <laughs> I put the rest of them in here just to keep them safe for our next guests. You never know. What'd you get? To be fair, you probably eat lawn clippings anyway. Yeah. Oh, I think it's grass. It's quite nice. How yeah. can you not tell the difference? What's up with your palate? <laughs> it's quite nice. Yeah, it could be lawn clippings. It's too. grass. The Daniel. next one is berry blue or toothpaste. Oh, Again, quite nice. Minty, yeah, I didn't mind this one last time. Okay. The logo for which popular app consists of a white telephone in a white speech bubble on a green background? What's that? It is what's that. Oh. Right. Do I get to pick it? Yeah. You do. Well, because, yeah, that's the whole thing. Like... Oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Cheers. Like you couldn't, couldn't have turned round quicker. <laughs> couldn't have turned round quicker. Already. Yeah. Okay. He's useless at this sort of stuff. Basically, if, even if it's not, it's easy. Gone. What was it? Don't know. It's still man. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble gone. <laughs> it's berry blue. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. Berry. Nice. Damn. Yeah. That happened last time where I did. You got all of them. See, so last time we played this, he got all the nice ones. I got all the shit ones. Yeah. Every single time. Yep. <laughs> Either juicy pear. Oh, oh, that sounds good. Or mm. bogey. Mm. Not so good. Not Although so good. I think you eat yours. So, <laughs> who played the title character in the BBC series Jonathan Creek? Mm. I do know this one, Alan Davies. You look a lot like Alan Davies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what right, it is then. Though. What is it about? I don't know what it is. Why me again? <laughs> can't we average this out? Absolutely not. For fuck's sake. Yes! You got the bad one! Come on! Oh. You alright there, mate? Yeah? No, I don't like it. <laughs> Question four. Tutti Fruity, which are great jelly bean. Yeah. Or Stinky Socks. What was Baroness Thatcher's middle name? Oh, come on. Elizabeth. Hilda. Pick one. Like, what's, what's the bad one again? Stinky Socks or Tutti Fruity. <laughs> Tutti oh fruity. yes. Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Oh. Oh, she's got to get a bad one here. Question five is either coconut. Ooh. Nice. You do like coconut. Oh, it's going to taste like tequila. Or baby wipes. What is 15% of 2,000? Oh, God. Doctor. <laughs> oh, God. Dr. Thompson. 300. 
Is that your final answer? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's correct, yes. yes. Correct. So what's this a bad one again? Baby wipes or coconut. You said it wasn't that bad, didn't you? <laughs> that means it's going to... Oh, 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 I thought you were going to give it to him! Why is it always me? <laughs> it's a baby wipe. It's, just, it's yeah. not great, is it? It's a bit like... It's like you've just eaten washing up liquid, I think. From, from what I remember. <laughs> it's like really fragrant. <laughs> uh, the next one is either peach Good. or vomit. Oh, no, oh this is a bad one. one. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad one. <laughs> no. Please, no, don't pick the hardest one. No. <laughs> What is the capital Fuck city you. of Libya? Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows that! I do. It's not even on the list, oh, so... <laughs> no, ask me a real one. That is a real one. Well, that is a real question. It's a real question. Oh, fake question. I don't... I couldn't even guess. I don't know. Right, don't know. So you got to pick one Best of those. Best final answer. How am I supposed to know that? The answer is Tripoli. What is it? Peach or vomit? Mm-hmm. Yep. If it's any consolation, the vomit is not as bad as dog food. <laughs> that just sounds like so bad. That is really bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's vomit. Because peach would hit you that quicker. <laughs> it would hit you quicker than that. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. That's oh, why my hands smell like <laughs> Oh, no, it's not that good. It's not that great, is it? It's, it lingers a little bit, that one. It's not great, that one. The next it's question. Is chocolate pudding or canned dog food? <laughs> I love how they're very specific with canned. They're canned dog yeah. food. It's not dry dog food. No, it's a meaty one. I mean, I know you're plant based, but there's no meat in it, so it's fine. It's just flavourings. Who succeeded Henry II oh, come on. as the King of England? Henry III? <laughs> it's good, good. At least you have That's logical. At least you can count. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If nothing that. else, you can count. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Is that, are you going for Henry III? Yeah. Oh, it's Richard the First. Oh, oh God. Oh, I really don't want dog food. You do not want to get this one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Get in! Oh my Fucking God. nothing better than that. Oh, that stinks as Nothing well. better than that. that stinks Is it? Oh, well. nearly a... <laughs> not the dinner table. <laughs> that smells bad as well. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? How bad is that? That is one of the worst things I've ever done. Isn't it? It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh my god. <laughs> Still going? Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. I can't swallow it. <laughs> I bet. <burned. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell, it stinks. It does. Your breath's making me feel sick. Never mind how you feel. Oh my god, that's the worst thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> this is an excellent game, isn't it? <laughs> but now you can pass this game on to other people, so now all you have to do is buy the bean boozled, use the code below, and you can, <laughs> <laughs> and you can do it with your friends. Oh my god. <laughs> Just to put your mind at rest, we've, we've done this and been yeah. through it, so we feel it's okay that we put you through it, so it's fine, like... right? It's not good, is it, that one? Last one is buttered popcorn, which oh, lovely. everyone loves. Or rotten egg. Oh, not so much. <laughs> not so much on that. Last question. Yes. Next is sport. <laughs> well, you're in fitness, so... Sporty. Yeah. John Gosden and Mark Johnston <laughs> are prominent names in which sport? <gasps> Horse racing. Horse riding. Horse racing. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah! What the fuck? Oh. Horse racing! I told you, imagine if you just got it and you just said it. Yes! How have you done that? I'm actually quite smart. Right, who gets that? That was quite egg, obviously a guess. I'll put the other one back in here. I'm just praying I didn't get it now. Oh, <laughs> Why me? Oh Why me again? The thing is, the way this works, that's going to be fucking popcorn because it always, it always happens with him. I don't care as long as I'm not eating them. Why not though? Why, not, why, guess, why not him though? Because I like him more than I like you. <laughs> no, it's popcorn. Oh, no way! Get in! Oh, oh, that's so gutting. Oh, oh that's the end of bamboozled. Bean boo bamboozled? Bean that wasn't boo. that bad. I mean, I feel really sick, but. That wasn't that bad. You nearly threw up. Peer pressure, that is, isn't it? Hungry, yeah? 
when it tastes like that, yeah. It's too good, isn't it? Mm. You don't want you just intuitively don't want to waste it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that whole that was a whole cheesecake when you arrived, right? Yeah. Mm. And how many calories did we think it was when we worked it out? Like seven. Not that we count calories on like intuitive, eight, but maybe? seven thousand calories there. It was. It's like a jar, two jars of biscoff, a tub of cream. You got it all there. You got it all out there, mate. You got it all. Off. Yeah, the diet's going fine. Yeah, diet's good. Mm. Oh, good. It's not as hard as it looks. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like fiend time at the zoo. Why did you do it to me? I asked you if I could bring it. It is sabotage. I said, "Can I bring cheesecake?" It was a leading question. It was a leading question. I don't care. So we're going to go for the uh, the obese look at the photo shoot. Is that what we're going for? Yeah, it's um, relatable. We need the plus <laughs> plus size modelling. Yeah. I like it. Are you fat? Come on, get coached by us. Yeah. We're the fat guys. Yeah. We'll teach how to eat cheesecake and be exactly the same. I mean, there's not anything left on there. I but could. You're happy, though, right? I could get bits off. Like you're happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course you're happy. Yeah, but it's just a full cheesecake. And that's what counts. Yeah, fat and happy. You're not fat, though. Thank you. You hear that? Thanks. Mm.